Hello everyone. Welcome back to Entertainment Biz. This time, we're delving into a subject that goes beyond booze, it's a narrative of endurance, fortitude, and the transformative power of music. Welcome to our unique documentary, which reveals the untold stories behind Gin Blossoms, one of the most adored bands of the 1990s. Come along as we explore their trip in detail and highlight the surprising detours that molded their legacy. We are discussing Gin Blossoms, so grab a seat and get ready for an exciting journey. Before we dive into the story, let's talk about what a Gin Blossom actually is. It's a term used to describe the swollen, red gums of a heavy drinker, specifically of gin. But today, we're not here to talk about the physical effects of alcohol. No, no, we're here to talk about the band. Before we continue, please subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell for more entertainment business that you need to know. American rock group The Gin Blossoms were founded in Tempe, Arizona, in 1987. A group of friends with a common love of music came together to form Gin Blossoms in Tempe, Arizona's thriving late 1980s music scene. Their catchy tunes and meaningful lyrics attracted notice right away, paving the way for their explosive ascent. Although the band is best known for hits like Hey Jealousy, Found Out About You, and Till I Hear It From You, you might not be aware that the band's name is a reference to their hometown, where alcohol was once so inexpensive that heavy drinkers' swollen gums were referred to as gin blossoms. In an interview, Robin Wilson said, When we started the band, we were just a bunch of kids from Tempe trying to make music. We didn't really think about the name or what it might mean. But as we grew and our music started to take off, we realized that the name had a lot of meaning behind it. It's a reminder of where we came from and the struggles we faced. Early on, Gin Blossoms had a good deal of difficulties. They struggled with addiction, harsh financial times, and the music business. The guitarist and co-songwriter for the group, Doug Hopkins, was battling alcoholism. His addiction ultimately caused him to leave the band. Hopkins was discovered lifeless at his residence on December 5, 1993. Although many think his death was caused by his addiction, it was determined to be a suicide. Robin Wilson, in an interview, said, Doug's death was a wake-up call for us. We realized we needed to get our lives in order and focus on the music. But they never gave up. They kept writing, playing, and performing, and eventually, their hard work paid off. Gin Blossom's music has touched the lives of so many people. They've inspired a generation of musicians and fans alike. And even after all these years, they're still going strong. Gin Blossoms continue to inspire, perform, and create music today. They stand as examples of the strength of tenacity and the therapeutic value of music. Thus, keep in mind the meaning behind the name Gin Blossoms the next time you hear their tunes on the air. It's a tale of perseverance, survival, and the power of music. That's it for today, folks. We hope you enjoyed this journey into the unexpected truth behind the Gin Blossoms. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content. Until next time, keep rocking. Baby, I don't want to take advice from falls. I'll just begin everything is gone. Till I hear it from you